Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. So today I got a new laptop and I installed MetaMask on it, but unfortunately it didn't take over all of my old coins and tokens and I had to figure out which ones I had and how to restore them all. When you install MetaMask, it only puts the Ethereum mainnet on there with the Ethereum coin and nothing else. Now I had several other chains. I had Avalanche and Phantom, I had Kronos and uh, Binance, I had Polygon, I had a bunch. Now they're not there, and when I want to get my old coins or tokens back, how am I supposed to remember where they all are, what they were? I'm going to show you today. Maybe a long time ago, you bought a bunch of coins and tokens. You thought they were going to go to the moon. You were going to drive your Lambo there. Now you can't find them, and you're freaking out. Don't worry. I'm going to help you find them, but first, you're going to help me. Hit that subscribe button down below. Of course, give me some thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing the right thing. And I always love to see the comments. I always try to get back to them as soon as I can. So let's get you to the moon. Let's hop over on MetaMask. Let's get started. So obviously, first things first, you need to install MetaMask. MetaMask.io. Always make sure you click the official link and get to MetaMask. And then you'll click the download. After it downloads it, it's going to want to know if you want to add the extension to your browser. I use Chrome and it adds a Chrome extension. Puts a little icon on the top right corner and then you have it installed. Now it's going to ask you if you want to start a new account or uh, import an old account uh, to this uh, device. Now you're going to need your seed phrase from your original uh, account in order to do this. That way you can recover your old address. Once you do that, it'll load up and you will have MetaMask with the Ethereum mainnet and the Ethereum uh, coin in there. It'll recover your old address and you'll have it right here. So you need to get that done. Once you have that done, all you can do is click on this. And the next one we're going to go to is BSC Scan. And of course, any of the websites or anything I use today, I'll have links in the description below. But you come to BSC Scan, and all you do is put your address right there and search. So right here on this one is going to be the uh, Binance Smart Chain. It's going to tell me that I have a total of five total con uh, uh, coins or tokens in here. And as you can see here, they all are. Some of them are obscure, kind of, uh, you know, poop coins. But there they are. I've got about 30 bucks on the Binance Smart Chain, and that's it. So now I know that what, what I can do now is to figure out other chains that I have coins on is right here. I see that I have three other chains that have assets on that. So I click on that. I have Etherscan, the Binance, which we just looked at, Polygon and Snowtrace for Avalanche. So if we go to Etherscan and we click on it, I don't have a drop down because I only have one, uh, one currency on this uh, uh, chain, which is Ethereum. So it's only going to show me that one right there because it's the default. When you install any blockchains on your MetaMask account, uh, it'll automatically install with it the uh, native token for that chain. So uh, there we are. Now, if we go back again and we did the Binance, we already did that. Let's check out the Matic or now Polygon. And Polygon, I have a total of five, and I hit the drop down, and here they all are right here as well. So I can write these down, and then that way when I need to put them back in later, uh, we can do that next. So there they are there. And then we'll go back one more time. We'll check out Snowtrace, and we see I have two. Hit the drop down, and you can see that I have uh, two tokens in here, some Thor and some Vapor Nodes. And that's it. So now I have a list that I've written down of all the different coins that I have on each uh, network. So now I need to install those networks on MetaMask. Of course, again, I will have links in the description below. But what we're going to do is we can go to each one of those sites and start installing those chains. Before I do that, I want to show you one more site really, uh, really quick. And it is Zapper. Now, I went ahead and put this one on here. It scans your wallets, and it will also tell you all of them all right here, all nice and neat, kind of cool. It um, has most all of them in here, but as you can see, when we were over here and we were looking at the uh, Binance, you can see that I had some uh, crap coins down here that really don't have any value, but I have quite a bit of them. Uh, but they don't list. They only list these two. So when I'm on Zapper, you can see the icons that show you which network they're on. And here's my Binance right here. Um, and I only have these three, one, two, three. Whereas when we looked earlier, I have five total. So it's not showing me all of them on Zapper. Uh, it does show you the, um, the main ones. But if you have any like crazy altcoins, you're going to want to go ahead and just go to a BSC scan and do the scan there and start there. And then, like I said, just click on the link 
and start scanning the different networks yourself. Um, but that's basically the way to find it. Now we have to add the networks to MetaMask. So let's go ahead and take a look. If I want to put the uh, Avalanche chain on, all you're going to do is go to MetaMask on top. Click there and go to the bottom and click Add Network. It'll bring you over to this page here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to start adding this information in. Now on this page and several other pages that I'm going to show you, they do have the versions for the mobile. Uh, I'm using Windows, so I'm showing you on the Windows. In the mobile, you'll just use the uh, custom RPC. Same thing as when I clicked on Add Network. And this is the information you're looking for. So the URL is right here. So when we go over to our MetaMask, we can see we have to put the network name. So we'll put Avalanche. Here's where the URL goes. And then we come back over the chain ID right here, the symbol AVAX. And again, the chain ID and the symbol. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and put in snowtrace.io. So we just simply copy paste all of this information as we do it and just copy it and then come over to the MetaMask and paste it in the appropriate sections. So that's basically that. And like I said, take Snow Trace and put that down here. So that's all you do for Avalanche. It's all the same for all the different ones. So we're gonna go ahead and close that window for MetaMask. We'll click on it again, hit the drop down, and then add network. And again, same idea, it brings up the same page. And again, we scroll down. This one's gonna be for Binance. And if you scroll down here, you can find all of this information right here again. Just go ahead and copy paste all of this stuff when you go to do it. Oh. And you can call the network name anything you want when you're putting it in there. That's not necessarily has to be exactly what they use in their descriptions. Uh, smart chain, you can just call it Binance or whatever you want. And then we also have Phantom, same idea, same, same exact way, Polygon. Uh, Kronos, uh, we've got them all right here. Again, I'll put links in the description below. Now, this is the long way to go ahead and add these in. There is a simple way to do this, and I'm going to show you that one right here. And this is kind of interesting. If you go to one inch and you click the drop down, first you'll connect your wallet. You'll have all the different chains right here. Now, what's kind of cool is that if you look at my wallet, I have several of those installed, but I don't have. Uh, looks like these three I don't have. So what I can do here is when I go ahead and click on that, I can click on Optimism. And what it will do is it will automatically put all that information in there for me. I click Approve and then I switch the network. And now if I go to MetaMask, you can see that now it is installed in there. And that's all you had to do. Now, again, I can go through and I can go to Avalanche and I can come up here and I can go to MetaMask and get my information and install it like that. And that's, that's you know, I don't know if uh, one inch is going to have this feature available forever. So that's why I'm showing you both ways. But you could just go right down the list and click on each one that you need to install that you found uh, coins or tokens in when you were over on BSC Scan and when you were looking at the different uh, scans for different networks over here. You can just come over to one inch and then choose the different ones and automatically install it like these here. If I click on that one again, I don't have that one installed. It'll automatically, and then I can switch networks. And now in MetaMask, I have it installed as well. So I have both of these now. If I want to get rid of them, I just simply hit the X and I delete it and it goes away. And then if I ever want to install it again, I just simply come back or like I said, you know, uh, you can always go to your MetaMask wallet, hit the drop down, add network, and then choose the appropriate one, Phantom, Polygon. Again, you could just simply take all this information, right? Uh, where is it? Here it is right here. You could take all of this information and put it right into your MetaMask right here. And that's all you got to do. So there you go. So now you've got, first off, we found all of our coins and tokens because we scanned that uh, with the different uh, chain scans. So now that we've got that, okay, great. Now that we know which uh, uh, chains have coins and tokens on them, we have to install, again, the different networks, which we did right here, or we went through each one individually and did it manually like that. So now that we've got that, we need to go ahead and put 
our coins back in our wallet. So purposefully, I deleted one of them just for the heck of it so I could show it to you. So we're going to go to the Binance Smart Chain. And there it is right there. And as you can see, I have these in here. If I come back over here and do a drop down, I see that I have the million token and I don't have that in my list. So I'm going to need to add that just like I added all of these in there manually. I need to add this one in. this one you do have to do manually. So now I need to add the million token. How we do that? Well, there's two ways to do that. I'm going to show you the first way, which is right here where we're on this page. You just simply click on the token that you're looking for and it gives you the contract address right here. All you have to do is click copy. Then you come back up to your MetaMask. Go down. I'm on Smart Chain. And as you can see here, it's not listed. I go ahead and import tokens. You can search for it. If it's an obscure token, it won't come up. But we can click custom. We hit uh, we hit that button over here. It, it, can, it copied it. We hit control V and paste it. And as you can see, million token shows up. We had add custom token. We import. And now when we look at our list, million token, and I have five of those, is right there. So that's it. That's all you got to do to add more on there. And it's pretty straightforward. There is one other way that you can do it. So you can go ahead and import other tokens by coming to uh, uh, CoinGecko. And on this one, if I was to look up the million token right there, all I'd have to do here is copy the address. Now, when you do it on million, uh, I'm sorry, on CoinGecko, it will show you that this uh, token is available on multiple networks. As you can see right here, it's on the Ethereum. You can click this over here and you can see it's also or, uh, available on two other chains. All you do is click copy on that one and then do the same exact thing. Come up to uh, MetaMask, import tokens, custom, and then same thing. It's already installed on there, so it's not going to let me do it again. But you get the same, you get the idea. It's the same exact way. It's just a little easier over here because it gives it to you as soon as you click on it. So if we go back and I was to click on one of the other ones uh, like this, it would give it to me right here and I simply just hit copy and then I copy it over to MetaMask again. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy going. I don't think that's gonna to be too tough. Uh, I hope this video helped. I think it's pretty straightforward. This is the way that you're gonna get your old coins and tokens back. You're gonna get all the uh, network chains installed again. Everything's gonna be back the way you used to have it, hopefully, and if it worked, I appreciate some thumbs up. You know I always appreciate that. It definitely helps the channel. If you want to watch any of my other videos, I'm going to have one right over here. And of course, if you want to help support the channel, hit the subscribe button. It's right over there. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for checking in. I'll see you all next time.